This is uh, just going to be an update on all my leopard geckos. First, I'm going to start out with uh, my first normal leopard gecko that I ever got. Uh, just in a 10 gallon tank. There's vitamins. There's a bathroom over there. There's a dry hide, moist hide, water dish. Just a 10 gallon tank. It's pretty cool. She's one that had the little hatchlings that I'm going to show later on in the video. And next will be my leucistic that is the father of the hatchlings. Alright, so here's my leucistic male. He's just in a bin. And he's going to be moved over to my adult rack when I get it built. And so is all the other adults. This is just his, uh, his cool side dry hide. And here's his moist hide. He flipped it on its side. He likes it better like that because it has more floor space in there. He just mostly just hangs out in there. I'll get him out real quick. Alright, so here he is. He's really cool. His tail's a little skinny. He eats a whole lot, but his tail just stays skinny for some reason. He's a really good breeder, too. I read him to the normal that I'm going to show you next, and, uh, shit, it didn't take with her, but it was still, still bred with her. He's still a really good breeder. He's going to be breeding with my, uh, my tangerine, and, yeah, on to the next gecko. Alright, so here's my third leopard gecko. Uh, it's another normal. Her tail's a little skinny, but she's okay. She's not sick or anything. But the guy at the pet store, she used to be a really good breeder, but she hasn't been laying eggs for me. Uh, she's a really nice looking normal. She has a lot of black on her. A lot of really small black spots. Uh, that's her wet hide, her dry hide, her water bowl. I took out the calcium so she doesn't flip it during the video. Uh, so the next one that I'm going to show you, or the next ones are the two hatchlings that hatched uh, about two weeks ago now. And, yeah. Alright, so these are the two hatchlings. Uh, the albino, I thought was blind because of its small eye and the pupils are really close to the front of the eye. But it turns out she's not because she's been chasing food around, she's been eating food, she's been eating really nice. And the normal is really doing really good too. It's starting to change colors. It's starting to look real cool. Uh, yeah. It's either het leucistic or albino, I'm not sure. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's them. Alright, this next one is, uh, my striped het bell albino. I'm not really sure about this one. It might have some mental problems. It sways its head back and forth, like that. And, uh, when it tries to eat, it misses a whole lot. And when it tries to look at food, it sways its head back and forth like that. Uh, I don't know if there's something wrong with it, or if it's just got something wrong in the head, but it's still a really good gecko, um, nothing severely wrong with it, it doesn't act wrong or anything, it just sways its head back and forth, but, yeah, that's her. Alright, this gecko is my, uh, tangerine, my big female tangerine. She's just in here temporarily. Uh, she's doing really good. Nothing wrong with her. She's still got a really nice fat tail. She's got a little bit of orange on it. I don't know if that's anything, but 
Yeah, she's doing really good, eating really nice. She's just in here temporarily, but should be out of here in the next week or so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna breed her to my leucistic. Uh, so, get some cool babies out of that clutch. Hey YouTube, I know this isn't uh, geckos or anything, but my black rat, that one right there, she had nine babies, but I had to feed four of them because of my small snakes. Uh, all of them are black, except for this one. It's kind of a, a freak thing. All of her babies have been black so far, except for one albino, and now that one. It looks like it'd come up, come from her, but it's from her. Yeah, they're doing really good. Ow! It's just a little rat update. Thanks for watching. Well, I spend all my cash. It's more addicting than hat. I've been places most people never heard. Come so what I see from the plains of Kansas.